Neighbors are fighting back against a proposed development in Charlotte's Piper Glen community. WBTV, you see here high above the property in question tonight. A developer wants to bring multifamily units to a stretch of undeveloped land off Ray Road near the Four Mile Creek Greenway. And that is where our Lowell Rose joins us live tonight with more on this. Lowell, you took their concerns directly to the developer. Also spoke with a city council member who's siding with neighbors in this. What more are you learning? That's right, the area I'm standing in along Ray Road remains mostly undeveloped with housing subdivisions surrounding it. Now this wooded area is up for debate. Rezoning plans show a project that's denser than what residents are accustomed to. My biggest concern, the community's biggest concern is the amount of units that they're proposing to put in there. This 53 acre site is at the heart of the issue. Vastly undeveloped, sandwiched between Ray Road, M Lane, Bemington Place, and the old course at Piper Glen subdivision to the south. We were proposing up to 1,100 rental homes, which will be luxury in nature um, and a great addition to South Charlotte. Site plans call for a changing zoning for the area to develop multifamily units, active adult communities, nursing homes, and single family units. Our intention is to be um, respectful of all types of housing and have opportunities for a wide range of, of incomes in this area. Despite the proposal from developers, neighbors are not a fan of the idea. This area right now, if you drive up and down Ray Road at various times of the day and to get out of our community here, it's impossible. And that's without 1,100 additional units and who knows how many cars are going to be in there. Charlotte City Councilman Ed Driggs is among those not in favor of the proposed plans as well. I first heard about it several months ago and I advised the petitioner then that I thought the development was inappropriate for the location, excess density, overloading the infrastructure. Councilmember Driggs says he would only support the project if there were major changes to the plans. Neighbors cite environmental concerns too, but the developer tells me it plans to preserve trees on the site, clean up the lake and build trails for pedestrians. We are deeply concerned about doing the right thing for this land and that includes um, listening to the area residents, the neighbors. This is neighbors plan to push for changes to the current plans. We're hoping that we can have a positive impact on the plans as they exist today. Now, both the developer and councilman acknowledge that this plan is months away from any type of vote by city council. So there's ample amount of time for people living in this area to talk to developers, to city councilmen, and give feedback about their concerns with this project. Now, if things pass without any hurdles with the city, the developer tell me that buildings could begin to pop up within 14 to 18 months, but the entire project would not be complete for some 10 years. Reporting live in South Charlotte, Lowell Rose, WBTV.